Praise the Lord. Niger State, are you there? Let me hear the beautiful voice of Niger State. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. The Lord visit you. And visit all our locations. And the Lord do great, mighty miracles in every life tonight. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We worship you and exalt you. We know you are great. We do all things are possible. And we're asking tonight that you'll touch every heart, every life, every family. And truly, today will never be the same again. Confirm the power of your word and the authority of the name of our Lord in every life tonight in Jesus name Amen. thank you Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen. God bless you you can sit down tonight as we begin the series of miracle working sessions as we consider the God of all possibilities. Tonight, I'm bringing to you a message from Mark chapter 10, reading from verse 26. Mark 10, verse 26. And they were astonished out of measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? What a question in the heart of the disciples, of the people surrounding Jesus Christ, who then can be saved. What a question we have as we consider our individual conditions, who then can be saved, who then can be delivered, who then can be healed, who then can be lifted up. Taking away from where we were to where we ought to be. And the Lord Jesus gave an answer in verse 27. And Jesus looking upon them says, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible in your life. In everyone here tonight, with God, all things are possible. For those online, for everyone connected, everyone watching, everyone expecting from God, whatever your challenge, whatever your difficulties, the Lord Jesus Christ has assured us, assured you, with God, all things are possible that's why tonight i come talking to you on the great possibilities of the grace of jesus the great possibilities of the grace of jesus i'll briefly consider three things number one the gracious number one the great grace of jesus for our full salvation salvation full salvation for your soul for your spirit for your body salvation your redemption total redemption complete redemption that the grace of god brings to us and the grace of god is available for everyone so i don't have to say i don't have enough of that i don't have enough of that the grace of god available for you and tonight that grace will come upon your life and it will give you salvation full salvation free salvation it will impact your life, impact your soul, impact 
everything about you from now unto eternity in Jesus name number two is the gracious goodness of Jesus healing our fatal sicknesses sicknesses that are fatal sicknesses that appear final sicknesses that appear incurable tonight healing is coming to you and it's through his grace gracious goodness of Jesus healing our fatal sicknesses number three the glorious gospel of Jesus for all freedom seekers freedom seekers what does that mean those who are seeking for freedom freedom from whatever attack whatever yoke whatever problem whatever predicament whatever problem you have freedom seekers what you are looking for you have it here tonight the glorious gospel of Jesus for all freedom seekers look at number one number one is the grace of Jesus the great grace of Jesus the grace that covers you and covers me the grace that covers everyone here tonight everyone listening the grace that covers everything you cannot handle by yourself that grace is here tonight that great grace that covers all sin that cleanses all sin that forgives all sin that takes you away from every bondage of sin and gives you freedom from that that binds you and then leads you in the freedom of the salvation of the Lord that grace coming from Jesus for our full salvation in John chapter 1 reading from verse 12 it talks about what this grace does it says but as many as received him to the people tonight who oh, say yes Lord I'm here I know you came and you were looking for me I know you died for me I know that you have taking all the shackles all the shame everything concerning my sin concerning my shame concerning all the difficulties I have and the impossibilities of my life I know you died for me and as many as received him that's what is looking for tonight you receive him you open your heart you say Lord I know you came to bless me. You didn't come to condemn me. You didn't come to crucify me. You didn't come to judge me. You didn't come to punish me. You came to save me. And because I know you are going to do something eternal, something everlastingly unforgettable in my life, I open my heart to you and I receive you. And as many as do that, there's no discrimination the lord is not going to push you we're saying no you are not qualified because nobody qualifies for his grace that's why the grace of god abounds for everyone and it is for you tonight heaven is smiling at you on you that whatever you ask tonight as you want is salvation free salvation you want a salvation full salvation tonight is your night yeah. say tonight is my night <laughs> to them give you power privilege to become the sons of god can you imagine what it means to be a son of god child of adam child of weakness child of sinfulness with the sinful nature for me to become son of God daughter of God that's what you are talking about it is not by marriage as many as received him as you receive him tonight you become a child of God where is the child of God there it will happen in your life it says as many as received him to them he gave power to become to become to become to become that means you are not like that before you are in darkness you are in sinfulness you are in evil you are you are a person that had no claim on God but then as you receive him 
Christ, the Savior, the Redeemer, you become, I will become. I can't hear you. Tonight, you'll become in Jesus' name. you become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. To them that believe on his name. Look at verse 13. In verse 13, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. It says, this one does not depend on the will of man. Somebody says, no, I don't want you to become a child of God. It doesn't depend on him. Somebody says, no, you're not going to have full salvation. It doesn't depend on her. It depends only on the will of God. And the will of God for you tonight is that you will be saved. And the will of God will cancel the will of Satan in your life. The will of God will cancel the will of any man or woman contrary to your progress, contrary to your salvation. The will of God will cancel that tonight in your life in Jesus' name. Because it says we're born not by blood, not by flesh, not by the normal creation, procreation of man and woman. This one is coming from heaven. Nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And then it says in verse 14, look at verse 14, and the word was made flesh, talking about Jesus, and he dwelt among us and would be held is glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. Somebody shout, full of grace. Say it aloud. At the rivers are full of water. He is full of grace and truth. You can come and take your beach out of the water. It's still full. You can come and take whatever quantity you want of the grace of God. The grace of God is still full, overflowing for you tonight. I can just see you as you come and you say, yes, I need that grace of God. And no matter who you are, whoever comes, no one will be rejected. The grace for salvation and the grace for full salvation and the grace to help you, lift you up and make you the man, the woman God created you to be tonight is that night it will happen and then in verse 16 he tells us and of his fullness have we all received of his fullness have we all received that does it it tells us the grace is full tonight and the grace is available tonight and of that fullness of the grace of God that will overlook all your sins, that will forgive all your sins, that will give you salvation, that will give you the joy of salvation, that will give you the great possibilities of the grace of God available tonight and of His fullness have we all received. And grace for grace. Grace for grace. For you there, grace for grace. After you get the initial deposit of the grace of God tonight, every time you have a challenge that will appear to make the salvation shaky, grace will come again. Grace will come again. And all your way, all your life, whatever it is you are looking for, the grace will say, I'm still here. And his treasure is still full of grace. The grace of God will never stop in your life. You have the initial thing today and then you move on. You have grace for grace. Look at Titus chapter 2. We're looking at what that grace does now. Anywhere that grace comes. Titus chapter 2 verse 11. It says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation 
you know some people sometimes they come to visit you but they come empty handed they don't hand over anything to you they just say I came to appear to you I came to visit you okay what have you brought I just want to say hello but you know grace is not like that the grace of God bringeth salvation and the grace of God visit you tonight is going to bring salvation to your life forgiveness to your life freedom to your life and the joy of salvation and the peace that comes with salvation is going to bring to your life tonight in Jesus name because it says the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men all people all women all boys and girls over there over there yes over there and over there everywhere you are and you are connected tonight the grace of god will not pass you by the salvation of god will not pass you by because the grace that bringeth in the continuous tense keeps on bringing keep on bringing and keeps on bringing that grace that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men praise god it has appeared to me it has come to me and that grace will not allow you to be lost that grace will not allow you to perish that grace will not allow you to suffer even here or on the other side that grace will appear to you tonight hey, look at look at verse 12 it says in verse 12 teaching us we need teaching we need that still small voice every time saying now you have grace now you have become a child of God a son of God a daughter of God put your foot there put your foot there don't say that say this way don't go that way go this way that grace of God will be your companion your teacher from now on all through your life in Jesus name you see when we are not taught we fall into pit into pits into ditches into here and there we hurt ourselves the grace of God will prevent you from going to places that will destroy your life because that grace of God that has appeared unto all men is now teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly loss we should live soberly righteous and godly in this present world in this present world your life will shine your life will be bright and your life will be straightforward you'll be righteous and sober and godly in Jesus name let me come to number two now number two is the gracious goodness of Jesus healing our fatal sicknesses the gracious goodness of jesus that goodness is coming your way hey, look at this verse of scripture acts of the apostles chapter 10 reading from verse 38 acts chapter 10 verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power when christ comes to you he comes in the power of the holy ghost and that power of the holy ghost will destroy every work of the devil in your life tonight i said tonight it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth of the holy ghost our power now every anointing that anyone receives from the father has a purpose when moses received the anointing he had a purpose and joshua had a purpose and elijah or elisha had a purpose and when david was anointed it had a purpose when jesus was anointed with the holy ghost and with power he had a purpose and that purpose is to do something in your life in my life in my family 
and all the people around me. What's the purpose? It says, who went about doing good. He went about doing good. And as you come across Jesus tonight, he will do good in your life. He went about doing good. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Because he has not changed, he went about doing good and is going about tonight. He will get to you there. As we mentioned the name of Jesus, he willed you. What he went about doing at that time, he will do it tonight in your life. What was he doing? Healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. He was anointed of the Holy Ghost. Then he went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. You see here tonight? You see going around to get you tonight? You see going to heal you tonight? That's what he has also done. And what he has always done, he will do in your life. I remember one brother, his name, Joseph. He had had this problem for 10 long years. Some people will say he had the problem for 10 good years. Uh -uh. He had the problem for 10 bad, terrible, painful years. But as he came, like you have come tonight. And then Jesus touched him. Like he will touch you tonight. Yeah. Uh, let me invite him to tell you the story by himself. Joseph, thank you. Come. Thank you, Daddy Kumi, for giving me this opportunity to share my testimony. My name is Joseph Jato Longji. I'm so grateful for the GTK that have been going on. I key into the last triumphant hour that comes up in Ondo State, and I was having a challenge of about 10 years. I've been to the doctor and he said it's prostate enlargement. I've been urinating more than 13 times, more than 10 times in the night, but on the 25th, the first day of the crusade, I listened to satellite in Jaws. Pastor Daddy Kumuyi said we should put our hands and your hand and the 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 problem. Once you mention the name of Jesus, your problem will clear out of the way. I did that and went home throughout that night. I couldn't go out for urination. I couldn't do anything. But at 5 o'clock, I wake up, I urinate. Throughout the day, there is no urination. From that day up to this moment, I've not been having that challenge again. I'm no longer urinating frequently as before. I'm so grateful to God for this global crusade with Kumuyi. My prayer for Pastor Dewey Kumuyi is that he will keep on uh, carrying on this global crusade so that others will also be able to benefit from this. Amen. What God did for him and for many others tonight, he will do for you. Long-standing problem will vanish away. Pain, sickness, suffering by the touch of Jesus Christ through his gracious goodness, healing everyone with fatal sicknesses. The Lord will do it for you tonight. Amen. Amen. How? Am I sure 
that he will do it for you tonight. Look at Psalm 145, Psalm 145, verse 9. In Psalm 145, verse 9, the Lord is good to all. You didn't say amen to that one. All, all, everyone. Every man, every woman, every family, no matter where you are coming from, no matter who you are, the Lord is good to all. Just like Jesus Christ manifested the goodness of the Lord and healed everyone oppressed of the devil because it's good. He never said no to anyone. He never rejected anyone. And tonight, the Lord is good to all. And his tender mercies are over all his works he created you and because he created you he has tender mercy for you he knows where you're suffering he knows where you ache he knows where the problem is he knows where the pain is and the lord will show his tender mercy of forgiveness of healing of deliverance he'll show it to you tonight in jesus name Look at verse 19. Verse 19. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. The people that fear him. That, that's not a fear of uh, if I use a club to smash my head. It's the filial fear. It's the honoring fear. That fear seem to honor him. That fear seem to respect him. He says he will fulfill the desire of everyone that honors him, loves him, comes to him, looks up to him, and says, in you is my salvation, in you is my healing, in you is my deliverance. He, the God of heaven, will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry. Amen. He will hear your cry. He will hear your voice. He will hear your petition. He will hear your prayer and will save them. And will save them. And will save them. Let's look at number three here. Number three, the glorious gospel of Jesus for all freedom seekers. You're seeking freedom. Freedom from sin. Freedom from bad habits. Freedom from anything that will injure or destroy your life. A freedom seeker. You want to be free from every bondage. and free from every attack. and free from every affliction. Freedom seekers. You want to be free from the judgment of your past sins. You want to be free from the eternal judgment that comes upon the people who dishonor God, disobey God, disrespect God, freedom seekers. As you seek that freedom tonight, your freedom has come. Yeah. Your salvation has come. Your healing has come. And the yoke in your life is broken. Yeah. Look at the word of God. It says in Acts chapter 14 and I'm reading from verse 7. Acts Chapter 14, verse 7, and there they preached the gospel. There they preached the good news, the glad tidings. There they preached the gospel. And look at verse 8, and there sat a certain man at Lystra. Like you're sitting there tonight, like you're waiting there tonight. He was waiting, he was sitting, and he heard the good news. What's the good news? That God loves you. What's the good news? That God will not allow you to perish. What's the good news? That he offers free salvation, full salvation unto you. What's the good news? That whosoever... 
will call on the name of the Lord will be saved and forgiven and set free and be healed. What's the good news? The good news is this day is this word of life fulfilled in your heart. There such a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his speech, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had watch, sick, impotent, paralyzed, helpless, hopeless, he never had watch. And then he heard the gospel that the apostles brought. Verse 9, in verse 9, the same heard Paul speak, just like you are hearing. And what you are hearing will turn to a miracle in your life. Yeah. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. He just looked at him like I'm seeing you there today. Like you are seeing me there today. And once we connect, we don't have to have a physical touch. I don't have to come there and put my hands on you because all this man did is that he heard Paul speak who steadfastly Beholding him, perceived that he had faith to be healed. Look at verse 10 and said with a loud voice, said with a loud voice, the voice carries authority, the voice carries power. The voice carries your healing and the voice declares your salvation and your deliverance and just said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet. That's all. Stand upright on thy feet. That's what I'm going to tell you tonight. That's the declaration I bring to you tonight. That's the good news I have for you tonight. You have never walked and then I see you there. I say stand upright on your feet. And maybe, maybe you are blind and I look at you there. All I'm going to do is to tell you the word that came from heaven for you. Open those blind eyes and you will see. Cancer patient, that's what I come to tell you tonight. That cancer will dry up. Any impossibility in your life, remember that we are serving the God of all possibilities. And so all he said, stand upright on thy feet. And he responded. He lived and walked. He lived and walked. Your yeah, man is too low. You will live your walk tonight. You will see and recognize tonight. All those impossibilities in your body, in your life, everything turned around, everything possible tonight in Jesus' name. Freedom seekers. You're seeking the freedom of the Lord, and that freedom comes to you right now. Where are you? God bless you. It's bowed, it's bowed, and eyes closed. This is your moment to have the free salvation from the Lord. Free, free. We don't pay anything. Christ paid everything on the cross of Calvary. And whosoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. It's about eyes closed. You want forgiveness from the Lord? You want all your condemnation, all your judgment to be taken away by the Lord? You want to become a new person, a new man, a new woman? You want to become a man, a woman, a boy, a girl, a child of God? This is your moment. Just raise up the hand wherever you are. And that's how salvation comes. As many as received him 
to them. He gave the power, the chance, the privilege to become a son, a daughter of God. Even to them that believed on his name. You raise up your hand. You indicate, I believe. I believe Christ died for me. I believe. Christ brought salvation to me. I believe the grace of God that covers everyone is available for me now. If you raise up your hand, please stand up so I can pray directly for you. You are raising up your hand. You say, yes, I want that salvation. I want that forgiveness. I want that newness of life from the Lord. And I want to have it from the hands of Jesus who has brought salvation for me. Stand up wherever you are. That salvation is coming to you right now. Amen. Keep on raising up your hand as you stand up. We're praying together, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come on behalf of everyone indicating they want your salvation now. They want your forgiveness now. They want your freedom now. And they want that eternal life to come to them now as they turn from their sins. And they turn to you to save them. I pray your salvation will come to them now in Jesus' name. And I pray for everyone that has got a bit of your grace, that fuller grace, greater grace, will come to everyone now in Jesus' name. And I pray that this grace that appears to all these who are standing now, I pray it will bring real salvation, transformation of life, change of life to everyone immediately, instantaneously now in Jesus' name. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will be a witness with every heart that now they are the children of God. Thank you for the answer. Thank you for the salvation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors there will come to you. And uh, very briefly, we'll you know, take some records. And then I'll come to pray for those who need healing. We'll call on our pastor to help us handle that. Amen. Amen. We have gotten the free salvation from Christ. Counselors, move quickly among the people. They are children of God now. They believe the gospel. They have received salvation of their soul. Get their details. Write their names. Their proper addresses. With their phone numbers. Remember, it's 11 digits. And get details of them. And from there, we will give you some wonderful packages that have been packed for you from our Father in the Lord, the convener. It's for you. You can't go without them. So, counselors, quickly move among them and get all their details. If you are online and you have given your life unto the Lord, you will see on global, the global crusade with kumui.com. There you have, you download a page, a form. Then you will be assisted. Fill all the details you have. There, send it back to us. We will have it online. We'll also send to you all the details that are needed. So let's quickly do that. As the man of God is here for us, he is here to pray. Because after you are saved, after your salvation, there is also part of salvation for you. 
which is healing of our fatal sicknesses. So that's why you are preparing yourself, you are faith to be healed, and you will be healed tonight in Jesus' name. But before then, write down all those details. Give your full name, the name you are known with, where you stay. Then give us correct address. As a student, indicate your school. As a business person, mention something relating to that that you can be identified easily. Then now we have GSA. We have telephone. Everyone, almost all is having it. Give us that, your phone number. Through that, we can send messages to you. We can call you. We can advise you. And we can help you to stand in the newfound faith. And you will continue to enjoy the salvation of the Lord. And remember, all those that have given their life to Jesus, tonight, there will be a special, special program with you and for you. If you look back at the back of the whole field now, you have a big tent over there. We are going to congregate and we have a lunch hour by 3 p.m. in this venue. We will have time with you to share with you, to encourage you, and to see how to build you up in your new fan faith. All over the other locations, try quickly to get their details as we are waiting for the miraculous prayer and the God of all possibilities will meet your needs tonight in Jesus' name. Let's be praying, believing God, that something you have been waiting for, the miracle you have been waiting for, the healings and deliverance, opening of the eyes of the blind, and lame that you are, you will walk tonight in Jesus' name. So, counselors, quickly do it as the leaders that have been appointed along with you. After you feel it, hand over so that we can quickly round up for the prayers of your miracle. Tonight is your night. I said tonight is your night. And also my night. And it's your night all together. And all over the globe, the power of God will reach you tonight in Jesus' name. So if you are finished, wave the flag so that we can see you, that you are finished with the counseling around where you are. Let's move on. Let's be fast about it. Just get their names, address, phone number, and some few details that are needed. It's so good for you to be helped. And this will make a link and connection between the convener and you. And we want it to be established, to be strengthened, and to be renewed so that hereafter, you will continue to enjoy the newfound faith in the Lord. I'm waiting for you. You can indicate by raising up the flag if you have done. Move on, be fast about this taking of the record. The pastor is waiting for us so that he can pray for all of us. Can I see you waving the flags, please? Let's be fast, let's be fast. Counselors, move around. If you finish one, move to the next person and be fast about it. Get all the details. Remember I said names, address, phone number. In the names, put even the real name you have and other names that people know in that area. 
put it down so that when you are called upon or you are invited or you are to be rich, you can easily be identified. Do that as we are waiting for the prayers tonight. The servant of God is full with the power and anointing to break every yoke tonight. And you will not go home the same tonight in Jesus' name. I believe you are praying. Pray and believe God that God of heaven, God of all possibilities, tonight will be my night. I will not go on with this challenge, with this sickness, with this problem that have been facing me. We saw a beloved brother giving testimony how the Lord delivered him of problems of 10 years. Your own, is it two years? 20 years, any numbers of years, you will leave them here tonight in Jesus' name. Can I hear a bigger amen? amen. Counselors, if you are finished, wait for me, please. I'm waiting for you. Okay, one is there, out of this side, by my left hand. I'm waiting. Okay, that one I'll finish. What of here? We are waiting for you. Do quick and be fast. If you finish, hand over, please. Don't keep the sleep. We'll walk on it even tonight. Thank you. Over there. Amen. Can I hear a bigger amen? amen? We are now inviting the, our Father in the Lord, the convener of this program, to pray for our needs and expect something to happen in your life tonight. You are welcome, sir. Let's welcome you as we stand up and expect our miracles. Praise the Lord. If you are there, I said, praise the Lord. Your miracle has arrived. Whatever is the problem, the challenge, the sickness, the pain, just lay your hand there and raise up the other hand. The name of the sickness does not matter. It's the name of Jesus that matters. And that name will cancel, destroy, all the yokes of the devil out of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, it's the name that matters. The name of Jesus, not the name of your sickness. Lay one hand there, is of the other hand. I want you to hear the final amen. That means it is done. Amen. We're praying now. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. We know you are the God of all power, the God of all might. With you all things are possible. And Lord, all these are expectant. They want your miracle touch. And I pray your miracle touch will come upon everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever the name of their sickness, whatever the name of the uh, disease. Lord, we know the name of the problem doesn't matter. It's the name of Jesus that matters. And I pronounce that name of Jesus against your problem, against your sickness, against your deformity, against the impossibility of your life. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Lord, we know that your name is above every other name. And whatever the name of the predicament or pain or whatever, we we'll pray that that name of Jesus will subdue everything now in Jesus' name. And I proclaim healing to everyone. 
deliverance to everyone freedom to everyone be healed be delivered in jesus name lord we thank you because we know you have answered that name cannot fail and i pray it be confirmed in your life right now in jesus mighty name i pray it is done i said it is done check up yourself you see your miracle your healing your deliverance right there